Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. This is a men's channel with men content. If that is something that you enjoy watching, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. Now, gentlemen, let us get into it. Now, I want the world to know that modern women, black women in particular, are some of the most sexually active women on the planet. I'm going to give you some numbers to show and prove that women cheat just as much as men cheat. For years, they have been putting it on the man. They have been saying that men are dogs, that men are unfaithful, untrustworthy, disloyal. They have described us in so many derogatory ways. But I'm going to give you my sources. And two of those sources, one of them is the Essence Magazine. That's one source. The other source is the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy. Before I get into that, let me first describe the modern day black woman. Today, the modern day black woman, they brag, they are braggadocious. They are boastful about their JJ. They brag about the influence that it has over weak-minded men, their JJ. They brag about how well they can deep throat. They brag about how well they can deep throat without gagging. They brag about how many different sexual encounters they have had. They brag about sexual encounters that may be taboo in society. They brag about having trains ran on them. They brag about threesomes. They brag about bukkakis. They brag about also sleeping with the same gender. They brag about experimentally, experimenting sexually about many different things. They brag about buying sexual adult toys and how to use them. They brag about their little rose toy. Anything sexual, anything that promotes whoredom, anything that promotes having the behavior of a prostitute or hooker or anything that is whorish, they are uplifting that. They put that on a pedestal and they associate their worth and their value to how much of a whore they can carry themselves as. This is why you see the way that they dress is so whorish because they don't mind it because they enjoy the lifestyle of whoredom. Now let me get into it. You shouldn't be bragging about doing whorish things around other little impressionable girls for one thing because now they want to do what you do. But let me get into it to prove to you that women cheat just as much as men do. According to the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy, 57% of men overall admit to committing infidelity at some point in their lives. 54% of women overall admit to committing infidelity in one or more of their relationships. Let me read that one more time. 57% of men overall admit to committing infidelity at some point in their lives. 54% of women overall admit to committing infidelity in one or more of their relationships. And again, that source is the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy. So let's see, 54, 5, 6, 7. That means they are only 3% away of catching up to men who cheat. So over half of the women that you get in relationships with, gentlemen, Half of the women that you choose to drop to a bended knee and marry and say, this is going to be my wife who's going to have my children and give me a legacy, they are committing adultery or they are just sleeping around cheating on you with various men or various women because women today have no regulation, they have no self-restraint when it comes to sexuality. They will experiment with the co-worker who is the same gender or they will just sleep with men who you may or may not know that may be a co-worker or someone that they have had sexual encounters with before such as a boyfriend, i.e. an ex fiance i.e. someone that they know from back in high school they sleep with them so over half of women that say I do I will carry I will be your lawfully wedded, lawfully wedded wife are cheating on men but it's so ironic because they are the ones who are <laughs> starting divorces at 80% chance of, they 80% of all divorces come from women but over 50% of women are cheating on their husbands think about that for a second Excuse me for one moment. I don't know if that look good or not. But anyway. This is a heck of a cigar here, y'all. This cigar here. 
I never had this particular one. It's a Dominican um, cigar. Sorry it took a while. Sometimes these cigars take a little while to light up. This is not bad right here. This is a good one. Anyway, back to the story. All right. According to Essence Magazine, it says that 50, this is good. It says that 53% of men and 41% of women say they only sometimes or never use protection when they cheat on their partner. You hear what I said? That nearly, let's see, 41% of women don't use protection when they sleep around when they cheat on a man. You know what that means? That a gentleman is raw dogging your wife. It means that a, a man is having sex without protection with your girlfriend, with your fiance, with the one you say, this is my baby, this is my boo, I love her, this is gonna be my next wife, this is gonna be my first wife, this is gonna be the mother of my kids. There are women who are letting men bend them over, hull them out, making them touch their ankles and their toes without no protection. No protection at all. And then they come back home to you and they get right back on you, jump on your pogo stick, after they done been ran through by another man without any protection. And there's too many STDs going on out in the world today to be sleeping around with people without using any form of protection whatsoever. But there are women who care so little about you black men that they don't mind sleeping with anyone as long as they get their rocks off, they'll give you the STD. Think about that. Women who care so little about themselves don't mind sleeping with men. Now these women have all type of discharges now. And I'm not talking about a military discharge or a discharge from a firearm. I'm talking about that discharge in their panties because these women are sleeping around with so many different men and don't care. Now according to the um, Essence Magazine, it says that where do men and women meet each other? It, respondents said, respondents listed every location you could think of, okay? Including one of the biggest ones, online. Women meet men all the time online. It's easy to create um, an environment of adultery by meeting somebody online. It starts every sexual act of adultery, every act of just infidelity starts with a conversation. In online, is the easiest way to meet a man or a woman. It used to be back in the day before they had the internet, you actually had to meet these people or you may bump into these people at the grocery store. You can go online, you can, they have websites right now that are only designed for adultery. I think it's Madison or something like that, .com or Adult Friend Finder. You can, if you are looking for something to be a freak or to be a whore, there is an app, there is a site for it. And women are going to it by the millions can't wait to cheat on a man. It also said they meet them online, at the club, which we already know that. Women have been cheating on men by, with men that they met at the club for decades. The other thing, they meet men at the church. Now this is an interesting one to me. A lot of women who say they are blessed, highly favored, old oh, uh, uh, touch and claim on. Oh. Touch and claim don't mean that you need to go touch a man's Johnson and claim it for you, for yourself when you got a man. These women go to church, dress, sometimes they dress like a modest woman, but majority of the time they dress horsely in church now, and they let you know that they about that, and they find men and cheat on their husbands and their boyfriends with a man at church, with the preacher, with the evangelist, they sleeping with the evangelist, sleeping with the choir director. They said on vacation, see women take these girl trips with their homegirl, oh, we're just gonna go on a cruise, just us and the girls, just me and the girls. They going up there to sleep with Pookie and Ray Ray in the Caribbean. They going up there to sleep with somebody majority of the time. It says that at a party with my wife or with my husband. The, these women are so scandalous, man. They will sleep with their homegirl who is married to a man and try to sleep with that man. It says on train, they meet men at football, children football practice while sitting in traffic at their job, especially on the job. Them work husbands, man, these women are cheating just as much as a man is. Just as much as a man is. I want to make that video because a lot of these women, man, they want to make it seem like the men are doing all the cheating, but I just gave you numbers that you can go look. I just gave you verifiable facts that you can go look up for yourself to see the sexual immorality that these women have. These women have no character no more. I'm talking about the modern day black women. I'm, of course, it, it, 
covers all modern day women, but I am talking specifically about the modern day black woman. These women are not marriageable no more. They have no character. They are so uncouth. You know what I mean? They hurt or they sleep with different men and they wonder why STDs ensue after they sleep out with different men without protection. I just told you what they said about they sometimes or never use any type of protection while they sleep with people. This is why they lead in STDs. Women lead in gonorrhea, syphilis. I mean, they, everything because of this. Well, anyway, gentlemen, if you've seen something in this video that has value or there's any facts you've seen in here, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe. More men content coming soon. Thank you very much for your time.